For best results, join our free 21 day challenge to create lasting positive change. Please do not listen to this while driving, operating heavy machinery or any environment where falling asleep could be dangerous. Thank you. And as you're about to start this hypnosis session, I want you to look up and keep your eyes up. And when you're ready to go into a deep and powerful hypnotic trance, you can simply allow your eyes to close. As you do this, I want you to keep your eyeballs up, but allow the lids to close down. And doing this allows your mind to move into a deep state of visualization. And that's right. So once again, look up, keep your eyeballs up, as if you were trying to look at your own forehead, and close the eyelids now. And if you find any fluttering, it means that you'll be moving into a deeper and even deeper state, even quicker now. As your eyes continue to flutter even more so, you realize you can take a nice big deep breath in through the nose for four, two, three, four, and breathe out the mouth for six, two, three, four, five, six. That's perfect. And while moving into this wonderful trance, I want you to drop your chin down so you get that same looking down sensation as if you were looking down over a balcony or down a flight of steps. And while looking down these steps, you get that same looking down sensation. And in a moment, I'm going to count down from 10 to 0. As I count down from 10 down to 0, I want you to imagine that each number is a step down on this beautiful staircase. And with every step you take, it will be another step down into an even deeper sense of relaxation, so that by the time you get to zero, you'll be as deeply relaxed as you can ever imagine, while still being able to listen and respond to the sound of my voice. 10. Take the first step down now, relaxing and letting go. 9. Moving down even further now. There's no need to hurry. Plenty of time. 8. Allowing any tensions within the body to begin their release now. 7. Deeper and deeper. And as you're taking step six now, when we say deeper, we mean a deeper awareness of yourself. As you now take step five, noticing your breathing becoming even steadier, even slower. Four, becoming calmer and calmer. Three, Calmer still now. Two. More. And more relaxed. One. All the way down now. To zero. And with this wonderful relaxed state of being, I want you now to imagine that you are standing in the doorway the most comfortable room in the world. And this may be a room you know. It could be an existing one in your home right now. Or it could be a special room of your imagination. And this room gives you complete comfort. And there isn't a single place in the world where you feel safer. 
As you look around the room, you become aware of all the furniture you know so well, all the different colours of the walls, floor and ceiling, and really take in the smells, because by stepping into this room, you've made the decision today to truly end your fear of mouth taping. And when you leave this room and step back through the doorway to where you are now, you know that you will be leaving this room being completely free of your fear of mouth taping, being able to go to sleep safely, knowing that you can breathe so effortlessly, so easy. And so when you're ready to eliminate this phobia and fear for good, you step through the doorway and into the room. And as you do so, you marvel at the sense of tranquility that sweeps over you now. And as you move through the room, I want you to imagine that there is a large TV or cinema screen hanging on the wall. And in front of that is your favourite chair. So you can move on over to that chair and sit down, just really allowing that chair to hold you so you can be so nice and comfortable. As you look up at the screen, you realise that this room has now become your own private cinema. This means that you're the boss, and so you can make the screen smaller if you wish, you can push it further away, or you can bring it as close as you want. And so you can now make it the right distance away from you. And in this private cinema of yours, you can see that a very special film is about to play. And this will be a special film that will be the first time that you ever experienced your fear of mouth taping. Do you ever had any uncertainties for taking this action. And like all films, it has a beginning, a middle and an end. And the beginning of your film will start just before the event, just before that event happened, when you felt truly safe. And this could be the night before, it could be a minute before. So just take a moment to decide what that moment was now. And now that you have an idea of the beginning of your film, it's time to create an ending for it. And this too will be the moment after the event when you first felt that fear, but when you felt safe again. So once more you can take a moment to decide when you felt safe again after this event. That's perfect. And so now I want you to pick up the remote control next to you for the screen. And you can just turn it on. And you can see that there is a freeze frame of the very beginning of this movie when you felt safe. But before you press play, something wonderful begins to happen. You imagine that you're floating outside of your body and almost like a ghost, you realise that nothing can hurt you and so you find yourself being able to float and fly around the corners of your own private cinema and as if by instinct, you turn around to see your physical body just sitting there, watching the cinema screen. And you see them reach down, they pick up the remote, and they begin to play this film. And as the film begins to play behind you, you can just float there, as you begin watching the way your physical self reacts to this movie. And just take a moment to look at the facial expressions they make. Does their body language change as they're watching this film? And as you continue to take in the sight of your physical body, 
watching this film, you wait for the film of the event to finish, and there's no rush, for once that film event has finished, you can float back into your body, where you find yourself looking at the screen, and you can see that it shows a freeze frame of the end of the movie, when all is safe again. And so now, allowing this comfortable chair to hold you, you pick up the remote, and you press the rewind button, and for the first time ever, you begin to watch the film of this event, with every single detail happening in complete reverse, until you get back to the very beginning of this film, and you can do this now, and that's right, and with everything happening in reverse, you can see that everything is happening backwards, and if there is sound, it doesn't make sense, because it's happening backwards, any movements are peculiar, because they're all completely in reverse, and as you continue to watch this film, completely in reverse, you eventually get to the very beginning of the film, before the event ever happened, and that's right, and now you're at the beginning of the film once more, and again you have the ability to float outside of your body, and so be that floating ghost once more, and when you look down on your body, you watch how your physical self begins to pick up the remote control once more, but instead of pressing play, they press the fast forward button, and they do this, now, and as you watch this, you become aware of just how different their facial expressions are, when they watch this film, and everything is happening twice as fast, and therefore it only takes half the time to get to the end, and when they've gotten to the end of the film, you float once more, back into your physical body, seeing the room through your physical eyes, looking at the last frame of the video, and just like before, you can pick up the remote, and press the rewind button, but this time you press it twice, so when watching everything in reverse, you see it happening twice as fast, and so when you arrive at the beginning of the film, it will only take half the time, and you can do this now, and now, having arrived at the beginning of your film, this time you can stay in your body, as you fast forward twice as fast as before, to the very end of the film, and you'll find yourself feeling so safe, as you do this, for the moment you've gotten to the end, you'll rewind it even faster back to the beginning, and you can now do this five times over, each time fast forwarding and rewinding twice as fast, and you do this taking all the time you need, now, and you're doing great, and now if you've watched the same film over and over, it gets so boring doesn't it, and so this time you can do the exact same thing, but it's all so much faster, by the time you reach the 15th run through, it will happen so fast, it will be like a blink, and you can do this now, that's excellent, and it's important to remember, that because this is your film, because you are the director of this event, you can begin to make it more entertaining, so as you speed through this film, why not change the colour of the background, 
you can make it black and white and dull and distant. Or perhaps you could add funny music into the background. Add comedy characters like Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. And you can do this another 15 times, back and forth, now. That's excellent. And now having watched this film so many times, having made it so boring, having watched it backwards, having made it funny and silly, you can now leave the room, knowing that this fear no longer has any control over you, that you no longer have any emotional response to it whatsoever, and the moment you exit the door, you are filled with the immediate sense of peace and well-being, that you are free, forever. And so now, with every day that passes, your confidence is increasing. The confidence of knowing that you are capable of doing whatever it is you set your mind to, with a positive attitude and a quiet strength, a congruent feeling within you. And even now, you can begin to become aware of an inner transformation taking place. And this will be one of the first steps towards a long line of changes that will lead to your success. And each day going forward, you can find that the things in the past that used to upset you or annoy you can now calmly relax you. And the more they used to annoy you or scare you, the easier you will find it to let it go. And it's important to note that all negative thoughts harm you. They truly harm you. And with that, you can now begin to unlearn all the fear that's been holding you back. Understanding that the only thing that can hurt you is the fear itself. And so now it's time to be able to step forward, no longer accepting any feeling of fear or negativity. You banish it in its entirety, allowing all those inappropriate thoughts and symptoms to be a thing of the past. And so you can close the door and leave it in the past as you move forward to embrace life as the new you. And I want you to take a moment as you look into the future, but in a way that tells you that things will go well, seeing all the amazing new opportunities that will come your way. And you'll be quite surprised at just how many new opportunities will begin to present themselves to you. As well as this, you can also see all the positive people that can begin to enter your life, raising you up and allowing you to have more fun in your day-to-day -day actions. And with these new day-to-day -day actions, you'll find that you also become aware of all these new strengths and resources within you. Resources that are in you right now and they're there to be used by you. And as you use these resources, you will find yourself becoming more and more confident. And it's good to know that with this new level of confidence and resourcefulness, that you can become the director in your life now, bringing all these good things to you and you find it easier to concentrate on what's important to you. And every day your subconscious mind can and will help you with this. And others will begin to notice this new profound and exciting difference in you. And they'll begin to appreciate you more as you demonstrate this new positive attitude in an effortless way. You become aware that you are the equal of all. 
and therefore no longer do you have to be a bystander in any situation. Instead, if you wish, you can stand at the forefront, establishing yourself as that interesting, positive person that you really are. And so with these new changes, being firmly embedded in your subconscious mind, you can give yourself the permission to take a nice deep breath and relax yourself from head to toe and take into your mind the image of you, happy, secured, confident and self-assured and in control of your thoughts, actions and emotions possessing all the qualities, characteristics, habits and skills that you wish to have. And once you have your vision, then even now your subconscious mind can begin putting those changes into place, nudging you unconsciously in the right direction to ensure that this transformation is taking place every single day hour, minute, and second, now.